Davis County residents have until December 10th to save a few dollars on property tax payments. The deadline allows for a 2% discount. Today, people stood in long lines to pay their tax bills, but the Davis County Sheriff's Office says there's another option that helps avoid that wait. Eyewitness News Sydney Davis has details. A line of Davis County residents stretched down the perimeter of the county courthouse on Tuesday as people got ready to take care of their property taxes. After noticing the half an hour wait, the Davis County Sheriff's Office is reminding people that in addition to a mail-in and in-person option, there is now a third way of making payments. The idea for online payments via the office's website began about a year ago. Those waiting in line say they felt in person was the safe option. And so it's brand new and I was afraid it wouldn't work. So yeah, that'd be a lot better for like a lot of things we pay online. But as long as it's a secure site, up to date, it's the latest technology, I, tr I trust it. Haley says he wants to see how well it works in its first year before trying the new method. Sheriff Brad Youngman says several people began paying on Friday before collection dates opened up. We were closed yesterday in honor of Veterans Day. Um, most people got their bills probably Saturday, maybe Friday. So, um, yeah, that, that line formed uh, before the courthouse was opened, and it's been pretty steady all day, but it is moving. Those in line say they don't mind the wait because they know there are no glitches. Well. To pay online, people must enter their bill number, address, and tax year. And some credit card companies may require a fee. Officials say as long as they're offering multiple ways for people to pay their taxes, they believe that's what's best for everybody, especially with the quantity of property owners and tax amounts going up every year. When I first became sheriff, we were hovering around $75 million uh, that we collected total. Um, last year was 78, and I, I don't know that we'll uh, crack the $80 million mark this year, uh, but I do think we'll be very close. In Davis County, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.